Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for The Real Woman. So you'll often see me on this channel dressing live women of all different shapes and sizes, body scale, etc. So, but in between, I also just showcase some um, clothing hauls. And today's video is a pack with me video because I am off on holiday, I'm leaving in about four hours time so can't believe I'm actually squeezing this in so hopefully it's going to be quite a quick one and what I'm not going to do is like just show you how I'm folding up and packing in in my suitcase um I'm going to talk you through the exact process that I go through when I pack for a client or myself so it's quite a logical process. Um, I'm quite brutal. I like to take the minimum amount of clothes, but I like to make sure that things mix and match. And I really like to focus on what I am doing on that holiday before I actually start packing as well. So as always, any of the clothes that are still available, because there's a mix of sort of older clothes and newer clothes that I'm taking with me, but whatever is available, I will link. Now I link in three places. I link for the UK underneath the video. For America and Australia, I link in the first comments box. And it would seem that a few of you struggle to find the links on YouTube. So now I've started adding the videos to my website. And if you go, I'll put the link under here. I think it's on blog or video. If you go to the video that you're interested in, underneath that video will be a couple of Word documents. And those Word documents will be titled up for your country and they will have all the links in. So hopefully now I won't get anybody emailing saying that they can't find the links because I'm hopefully we've covered all the basis. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start by answering a couple of your questions. And the first one is, it's a little bit superficial, but a lot of you ask, how do I do my fake tan or where, where do I get my fake tan from? I am always um, fake tanned. As you can see right now, I'm skin is too old to be going in the sun these days. I use these products. It's called Bear by Vogue. And I use, this is their face mist, and that is their body foam. I'm currently using that in the dark, and the face tan is in the medium. But ordinarily, had I have not just got back from Cornwall, then I'd probably just be using the medium. But because I'm a little bit naturally tanned, I'm using the dark at the moment. I will link them. You can get them from Amazon and they are available all over the world. So. Okay, my second tip for packing to go on holiday, and probably I feel it's one of the most important, is that I have everything washed and ironed before I start to pack. And I get everything laid out. Usually this would be in a bedroom scenario and it's all laid out on my bed, but I'm doing it obviously on the rails for you today. And I do that with my clients as well. And the reason for that is after you've packed and then you've got washing and ironing coming through as well, it's so tempting just to say, oh, I'll just stick that white top in or, oh, I might need that extra top. Well, no, if you prepare correctly, you don't need those extra pieces because as you'll see today, I'm going to go through everything I need. I find when you throw those last minute things in, that's what adds to the bulk in your suitcase. So if you prepare like I'm about to show you, you shouldn't have those extra items in your bag. Okay, so when I'm with a client or even assessing myself today, I always say to them, okay, what's your holiday involved? So I am going to Croatia, I'm with my family, I've got my two children with me, it's an activities based holiday. My husband is off all day doing various sports, my children are learning to sail or play tennis and I probably do a bit of Pilates in the morning and then lay by the pool for the rest of the day. So I'm probably the laziest on, on our holidays. But straight away I know that I'm going to need some sports gear, I'm going to need stuff for laying around the pool in, I'm going to need stuff for walking around Havar in, for example, the town. Um, but also I go off on cycle rides with my children, with my husband. 
and sometimes those cycle rides might be sort of heavy going mountain biking but then other times it's just a nice stroll with the whole family where you go you're walking around a town so the items needed for that bike ride are completely different from the sporting items need for needed for the other type of bike ride so you really need to start by assessing what you're actually going to do. And I know sometimes that's hard because you, you're you not quite sure. But if you're not quite sure, you need to make sure that you pack something for all eventualities. So I'm going to start today by going through what I personally find the easiest part to pack. And that is looking at my evening wear. I'm pretty certain that most nights, if not all nights, we will be out as a family going to a nice restaurant. Where the ambiguity comes in is I'm not sure how dressy the hotel or the area is that we're going to. So is it a really nice dress and nice heels? Or is it a nice dress and maybe just a little kitten heel and a, or a wedgie or is it nice dresses and flats or is it even more casual than that that's what I don't know so in my head straight away I'm only wanting to take items that I can either dress up and I can dress down so let me take this dress for example this dress can look very very dressy in the evening but I've shown it in previous videos where I have put it with a rattan belt, a straw handbag, and then some flip-flops, okay, or some, some sliders. So those three accessories there are going to pare down that dress to a very casual level. So I'm thinking that the hotel that we're at is probably going to be at about that level. But what happens if I go there and it's a little bit more dressy? So this is where you select another pair of shoes that is going to go with this outfit, but that just elevates it a little bit. So I could choose something like that. So just a very small little heel. And suddenly I'm going to have the option to dress that up a little bit. Now I'm only going to take both of those pairs of shoes if those shoes now go with everything else in the wardrobe. So if there's an item on there that needs a black pair of shoes, for example, I'm not going to take that dress because I don't want to take an additional pair of shoes. I only want to take two for the evening to give me options. In addition to that, there's another stage that you need to be considering at this point. So I look at that dress and I think, well, what underwear am I going to wear with it? It's going to need a strapless bra. So I get my strapless bra, my big padded strapless bra, and I attach that to the dress. And now I need to think about jewellery. So if I've got those items and I'm going fairly casual, I might want to go more casual on my earrings. I might, I might not if I need the other shoes. So that's telling me that I probably need to take with me maybe a casual pair of earrings and then something a little bit smarter. So just in those three pairs of earrings there, I know all three are going to go with that dress. And I know that all three will enable me to wear that dress either in a dressed up way or a dressed down way. Okay, so that started the potential jewellery that we're going to take with us. Now again, every other item that I bring out, I'm going to check that one of these three pairs of earrings is going to go with that item. If it works out that only the small hoops and the bigger gold hoops are needed for the majority of the items, then I take away that third pair and I only take those two with me. Okay. My next evening outfit to take with me is this item from Reese. I've had this a couple of years now. I take it on holiday with me all the time. Again, I will try and find a picture of it and put it at the side there. And the first thing I'm going to do is check that the two pairs of shoes go with it. So yes, I could wear those flats or those heels with that outfit. I could wear the rat and belt if I want to. And yes, the earrings that we've already selected go with it. I need a strapless bra to go with that we know that that's already attached to the green dress so that outfit is complete and next up I've got this jumpsuit this was from Mango I think it is still in stock I've had to take up the bottoms of it and when I did so I checked that the bottoms would work with a small little heel 
and those heels were the ones that I know I'm going to take with me. So I know straight away that that jumpsuit is now tailored to the right size to wear those with them. So I don't need any additional products apart from my stick on boobs, which because it's black backless and I showed those in another video. I can put a link up to that. I think it was in the swimwear video. So now I grab those boobs and I literally attach them to the coat hanger. So the outfit is complete. I know that any of those pair of earrings that I showed earlier on is going to go to that outfit. So that's outfit number three complete. I should say that we are there for um, a week. So I only need six or seven outfits for the evening. So I'm not going to take any more than that for the evening. So next I've got a an outfit where I don't really know what to wear with it, to be honest with you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is try this on and see if I like it or not. If I do like it, then I check that the shoes and the jewellery match and we know they're going to because, because of the colours that I've already chosen. If I'm still not quite sure about this skirt, you know when you've got items that you think, oh, I want to wear it, but I'm just not sure if I'm confident enough to wear it or it depends on the atmosphere, it depends on how dressy it is. I probably want to take a backup to something to go with that top just in case this doesn't work. So this is where I think about something else and how it's going to mix and match really nicely. So I've got a couple of options here. I've got a plain pair of silky type of shorts. They're just from Zara. And you can see that that top is going to go nicely with those shorts. It also makes for quite a casual look as well. But again, if I put it with the little heels, I could dress it up or I could put it with the flats and it would be great. But what happens if my legs are all still really burnt and I'm not ready to wear my shorts or I'm not feeling confident enough? I always take a pair of jeans with me. In addition to that, I find I get quite cold in the evening. So sometimes I just want a pair of jeans and maybe a nice top. So if I take the addition of the shorts, the jeans and the skirt, I know that this top will go with all three options. So I class that as maybe one evening option but I know that I could wear that in the daytime as well. And these are kind of like my, my backup. So that's the, the one excess item that I'm going to take just in case. So I'm not going to go through every single item, but basically I know that I've got seven key evening dresses. I also know that every single one of the items can be dressed up all dressed down. Now if I come down here you will see all the shoes that I lined up to see which ones I wanted to take with me. Okay so I put these green ones in there just because I really really like the shoes. But they will only go with the odd outfit so these are going it's not worth me taking them. Got some black ones here. I was planning on wearing that jumpsuit with those black ones but again, the black ones aren't going to go with anything, so I'm not taking them. Then I've got too many neutral sandals here, you can see. We'll come on to really casual for sort of around the pool in a moment. So I'm just going to put those for the, to the side for a minute. But if we're just talking about the evening, then I have got either one of these rattan pairs there. And I know that the Bowdoin ones there are much better to walk around in. These tend to slip off my feet a little bit. They're pretty much virtually the same. We don't need both pairs. We've already seen how a rattan pair goes with all of the item. So let's get rid of the ones that are more uncomfortable. Now to evening shoes. So you can see that I have laid out three pairs. I don't need three pairs. We've already established that I only need one pair and I'm only going to take a small heel because I can't walk in anything more. So I think in terms of versatility and where we're going a hot country, I'm going to go for one of these two open two toe shoes. So we get rid of those ones. And then the heel is slightly different. This is a smaller heel. I think that's going to be more practical for any walking around. So I'm going to get rid of those pair. 
And I'm down to my exact two pairs, the dressy and the flats that I know are going to go with everything for the evening. And the last thing for me on holiday is that I always get a little bit chilly. I'm just a cold person, so I always need some sort of jacket with me. And this is where things can get a little bit more complicated. So I have provisionally put on all of these jackets right here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So there's no way I can take five jackets with me. It's just too excessive. So I start by having a look to see which one is going to be the most appropriate. And you can see straight away that that pink jacket is going to clash with the orange suit there. So straight away that one's going, it, it's not going to be versatile enough for me. Okay, my leather jacket. This seems a bit extreme, but I am always cold on a plane and I find that a linen blazer creases up too much on a plane. Usually I wear that on, on a plane. I find it really comfortable. It's a really soft, leathery jacket. So I think I'll probably keep that one in for now. It won't go as good as a blazer will go with some of those outfits. But what it will do is dress down some of those outfits if I need it to. So I will take that and I'll show you what I'm going to wear on the plane in a moment. But I'm going to put it over there for a moment because it's not part of my evening wear. So now I'm down to three jackets. I would literally go through a process of trying a couple of the dresses on and seeing which jacket goes best with it. Now, I know straight away that a bomber style jacket is not going to go with that type of elegant dr dress. So now we're down to two blazers. We've got this Reese one, which is actually quite um, elegant blazer. It elevates an outfit really, really nicely. And then we've got a lot more of a relaxed style of blazer. Okay, so this is where I really start to think about type of restaurant that I'm going to in the evening. I've got my family with me. We eat relatively early, young children and things like that. I'm thinking the very fact that I've got quite a few dressy dresses with me means that if I put it with a more relaxed style blazer that's going to make the whole thing quite relaxed which is almost the vibe that I'm going for on this holiday. Um, I am going to Corfu with my girlfriends and their husbands actually in the end of September so that's probably the type of environment where I would take a much cleaner, nicer, more going out jacket because that whole outfit will then be elevated. So I then just go through the process of checking that that colour is going to go with everything. And one thing just to mention is that I'm only taking one small handbag with me and it's that rattan one because, and that's from Amazon, and I know that is going to go with all of the outfits. So, and just to say that my outfit today that I am just sort of scuffing around the house in, getting the kids packed and everything, is from Adenola. I love their stuff. I showed some of their leggings in my Cornwall video. Um, oh, I'll put a link up for that because anybody who's not going on a hot holiday, I showed everything that I wore there and we had a heat wave rain, cold weather and hot weather all in the same week. So that will showcase everything that I wore during that period. Um, but yeah, these are from Adenola. They're super comfy. I'm wearing them in a size small. I probably could have gone down to an extra small and I'm a UK eight, but I do like it because it's quite oversized. Swim. Okay, so let's tackle the dreaded swimwear. Okay, how I tackle this is that I look at swimwear and cover-ups almost as one item because if you're anything like me, I'm the sort that as soon as I get up from the bed, I've got something wrapped around me. But often we're going for lunch in your swimming costume and I want something that's more appropriate to sit in for lunch and other times it's just a quick skirt to wrap around just to go and get a drink from the bar. So even within the cover-ups you've got different levels of cover-up. So how I start this process is I look at the swimwear that I want to take with me. 
Okay, so I've put out a selection of my favourite here. So I start by thinking about, okay, well, which is my favourite? You usually got a favourite to take, don't you? So my favourite that I'm loving at the moment, I, I don't think I showed you this in the last one. I don't know how to say the brand, um, Naya, Naya. And the reason I like this is that it is cut with a more coverage on the bottom um, it's not see-through and I really like the sort of gold hardware that is on there as well so now I think to myself what am I going to wear as a cover-up to go with that so something like that for example will be fine because that will go over that really really nicely so that's just a, a little bit heavy there for me to just sort of nip to the toilet in or throw on really quickly. So I always take with me a sarong skirt of some sort. This one is great actually, and it was from Primark of all places. It's got a really nice central tie detail there, and they've got them in again this year as well. So they are currently in stock. So that would be a great one just to throw on quickly with the white bikini. I could also wear that, which I've got on the rail. And I could also wear another white throw. Okay, so now I'm starting to think, hold on a minute, I've got quite a few white throws there. Too many, I don't need all of those. I also wear quite a lot of just linen shirts over my swimwear as well. So, and I know I've got a linen shirt coming up that I could very easily wear. So it's too much. So this one is a new one. So I think I might want to take that one. So we definitely put that one in the mix. This one is lovely, but it is feeling a little bit more dated. I'm kind of more about the linen-y shirt than I am the sort of pretty type of throw over now. So I'm thinking maybe not that one. And this one is good because it's quite big and shapeless and I can just throw that on over everything. So I'm gonna keep that for a minute, but I'm gonna get rid of this choice right now. Now I've got three black bikinis. I'll deal with these two first of all, okay. These are both triangular bikinis. They are from the White Company and the White Company do really nice swimwear. It lasts really well. They've got really nice shape to them. I don't need two exactly the same triangular bikinis. The third one on the rail, however, is not a triangular one. It's the sort that doesn't have any straps, so the bandeau one. Now those are really good when I'm actually sunbathing and want to get a tan when you've got a triangular one like that I find it quite awkward you're sort of trying to pull the straps off without flashing your boobs everywhere so I tend to wear that sort maybe if I'm perhaps going snorkeling and, and I tend to wear that sort when I'm just lying on my backside <laughs> um, catching some rays so I think I'm going to be better taking off taking one bandeau and one triangular and actually looking at them I prefer the gold on that one than I do the silver hardware on that one so that one's going the gold is going to go with all my gold jewelry so I'm going to take those two instead and I've got three swimming costumes that I have put out um, this one is beautiful it's from Cupshe but what I need to check with that one is that it's going to go with one of the cover-ups. Then we've got one from New Look, which I just really like the colour of that. And given that everything else is quite subdued, I, I quite like that one. I know that will, one will go really well with just some denim shorts. And it will actually go really nicely with that bright cover up as well. But will that bright cover up now go with everything else? Because it's no use me taking that cover up if that is the only swimming costume it's going to go with. So back to this cup sheet swimming costume. Do I want to take it? Do I not? So I just go through the process of checking what it's going to go with. I'm concerned that, I don't know if the, the camera's picking up the colours, but my skirt that I just can wrap around every single one of them so far, the, the colours, they're just, 
I don't know that they clash but this is more of a pure white and this is more of a cream and if I put that and that together like that I don't think that is going to go particularly nicely where when you've got a bikini and a skirt on it doesn't matter about the white being up here because you've got your flesh in between so if that was a swimming costume again it wouldn't work with a white skirt but the gap there that is created means that it will but it's not going to go with that i think this one is going to stay here instead and then the last thing i like to consider with swimwear is first of all my beach bag my beach bag needs to be big enough for your beach towel the kids snorkels and everything in between and I think on this occasion, I'm actually going to take two beach bags, which is a little bit excessive, to be honest. I'm going to take my Annie Bing bag and I'm going to take a straw bag. So ordinarily, that straw bag would do me for the plane on the way there, as well as a beach bag. However, I don't know if this is happening all over the world, but certainly in the UK at the moment, our airports are completely understaffed and overworked. And it means that a lot of baggage is getting lost right now. So I'm planning on taking this bag on the plane with me because I'm also going to pack a spare swimming costume, a spare change of clothes, underwear and my toiletries. So this bag is probably going to be needed because I've got more stuff than I ordinarily would take in my hand luggage just in case our suitcases go missing. So and now thinking about shoes that are going to go with all of these cover-ups to walk around the pool, to walk around the complex in. So I've learned the hard way here that when I take something like this, which are my Bowden sort of um, Birkenstock type of shoes. When your feet are wet, they, for me, my foot slips right out of these. So, and they're quite uncomfortable in a, in a wet environment around the pool. So I always resort back to wearing my Havianas. They are just the normal gold colour. They're really good in terms of going with absolutely everything. It doesn't matter that my feet are wet constantly in them. I can pack those in my hang luggage in case my suitcase goes missing. And then I know as a neutral pair of shoes, that's going to go with everything else. But they are just my go-to on every single holiday. Okay, so moving on to the next part of the wardrobe that I am going to need on my personal holiday, which is exercise wear. I know that there is a rock climbing place there, so I do want to take one long set just so my legs don't get scraped up. But ordinarily, long sets are a little bit too hot when you're sort of in 40 degree weather. So most of the time I'm going to be wearing shorts, but actually having laid it all out here, I can see that I haven't got enough sets. So let me go through this mentally in my brain to see what I need to take with me. Okay, Lululemon set here. It is the cycling shorts and the matching top. So that's great. That will do me for like a hit class or Pilates or something. So definitely taking that one. Um, number two, some shorts there and they've got the cycling shorts underneath it. So they're pretty good if I'm going on more of a hardcore sort of cycle with my husband or something. But I need a top to go with those. So looking at what I've got here, I could just wear the black Lulu Lemon one. So that would be a set, so that's fine. Or I've got a couple of extra tops here. You can see there the white one would definitely go. So, so far we perhaps don't need the animal print one. Now this is the point where I've realised I've made a mistake because I have picked up two sets with long trousers. I've got my Adenola set, which is just that beautifully soft and they just got a really nice waistband they stay up really high but I do have the shorts for this set so I'm going to swap the long legs for the shorts and then perhaps take that one for any rock climbing don't need that top so that can go 
And what I'm actually thinking is I probably do need to take another short set. So actually I've got this on. So, okay, here we go, thinking on the spot here. So if I was to take this pair of shorts and put that top with it, I've got another set, bingo. I'll just keep this white top in there. Then I've got to think about the trainers. Okay, so I have my Veja trainers. Now I've actually got, if anybody's interested, I have these, this exact pair in a UK size four. I realised they're a little bit small on me. And when I looked at the label, they'd actually put a size UK four in the box, even though the box says five. So if anybody does want a UK size four pair of these trainers, I think they were £140, but because I've worn them that day, I don't know, maybe £120, then email me and I can get them sent to you. Or if you can hear the noise outside, we have a really lovely Ukrainian family staying with us at the moment and the dad is doing some sort of drilling, I'm not quite sure. So I apologise, but I don't have time to refilm this. So please just ignore that background noise if you can. Okay, so next, we need a lot of culling here. So these are all of my daytime type of outfits for when I need a little bit more cover up because perhaps you're walking around a town or maybe you are going to a restaurant in the, in the, in the daytime. It's kind of that type of category of clothes. So it's not your beach cover up. It's something more than that, but it's not evening either. But that's way too many. I can't take all of that. So straight away, I can see some duplications on there. So let's start by going through and having a look. So first of all, I have got that, that skirt there. Really lovely skirt from Zara. But in order to wear that, I need to make sure I've got the, a top that's going to match it. And I can see straight away that I haven't got a top on there that's going to match that. So easy call, that one's going. Next up, I'm looking at the long dresses. So you can see here, I've got three long white dresses. Now what I'm actually going to wear to the airport or what I thought I was going to wear to the airport is this dress from me and M nice and long. I was going to contrast it with my leather jacket for some warmth and also it kind of makes it a little bit sort of a less mumsy dress and more a little bit of a cooler dress. So that's what I was going to wear. Now what I am seeing looking at this and everything that I've put out is that I don't need to take three white dresses. Thinking about it, what I might do is wear that one on the plane because that's more appropriate when I actually get to Croatia because it's going to be hot than that one. So if I substitute that one to wear on the plane, I then also got it there. So this one is now going. Then I have got three long items left. I've got that jumpsuit, which I showed in my Cornwall video. I've got a pretty long dress as well. And then I've got a backless white dress. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. The reason being is I've just worn it quite a lot on my Cornwall holiday. In addition to that, I'm thinking that both of these dresses I could wear in an evening as well, especially if it's a little bit more casual than I'm anticipating. So those would do me for daytime and evening. So I think I'm gonna put those two in. Now I need to be mindful of the underwear with both of these, but I know that I have already packed for the evening outfit, my sort of stick on bra without the back. So I don't need to worry about that. I don't necessarily need any extra jewellery with these. I'll probably just wear what I am wearing right now. So I don't need to pack anything like that. And just checking down on the shoes, any of the rattan sliders, even my Havianas would go with those. So those two are good options. However, they are both long. So if it is really hot, I now need to think about wearing something that is maybe a little bit cooler, just in case. Okay, so I've got lots of options on here that sort of fall into that category, too many options. So straight away, I can see I've got three co set. I've got that one, 
I've got this one here and I've got my blue one. Or that last year on holiday. I kind of quite like that one. So sometimes you just like things. So you kind of want to take them anyway. So I'm going to take that one and then it's probably out of these two. From memory, I think that is perhaps a little bit short on me and a little bit young looking now. So I think I'll take that one instead. Okay, so moving on, I can see straight away that I have got two very similar white jumpsuits. I don't need both. One is more of a it's like a resort wear. It's a really beautiful one from Reese, actually. They do a very similar one this year as well. That is actually really good for dressing up or down in the evening, where this one is a Zara one. It's a lot more practical. That's where I could be very tempted to go, oh, I'll take them both because that one might be good for evening, but I've already done my evening wear, so I don't need to go back to that. I know I've got everything. So yeah, this one it is. So that one is coming with me instead. We'll put this one away. I can see here I've got two denim shorts. I don't need both. So probably off camera, I'll just try them on really quickly and will most definitely only take one pair with me. I can see here I've got my linen co-ord sets. I wear these all the time on holiday. I've got two of them. You've probably seen me wearing both and I know that both of those shirts I can wear with my denim shorts. I can wear them over a bikini. So I find these are really, really versatile. So I'm definitely keeping two sets of those in. Okay, and now I'm seeing three white tops. That top there is great for going with denim shorts. I'm thinking whether I need it. Actually, I haven't got many sort of vest type tops in there, have I? But do I need them? It would go with those shorts, actually. It would go with my denim shorts as well but then I probably don't need the co top to go with those shorts as well because I know now that I could wear the white top I've just shown you, I could wear my beige or my white shirt. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the co oh, top. No, this is a good point. So I have got my trainers that I showed you that are going to go with all my sporty outfits. Those sort of trainers are probably a little bit heavy to go with an outfit like that. So this, if you remember, is more of the type of outfit that I would wear if I was going on a bike ride with my family just around a local town. So what would I wear realistically with that, going for a bike ride or going for a walk where my feet weren't going to hurt me? That's really my only option, okay? My canvas trainers. Okay, so do I really want to take two lots of trainers? They do different things, but this is where I might be going a little bit excessive. Is it better that I leave the nicer, prettier sort of white jumpsuit and I go on my bike rides in my denim shorts where the trainers will go better and then I don't really need to take my canvas trainers? That's probably the answer I should go for. <laughs> you know, and it's hard to do what you preach, <laughs> but that's probably what I should do. So maybe that one either stays at home or, or probably more simply, that can just be a daytimey one that goes with my flip-flops rather than a bike riding one. So I know in advance what I'm going to wear if I go on a bike ride, because I know I need to match them up to my heavier trainers. So that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. I'm off on holiday. I will probably still answer the comments whilst I'm away and I will edit this video and have it up for you as soon as I get back. One last thing actually that's just caught my eye. I do get my clients to decanter everything. So I put everything in little bottles for them like that, sort of 100ml bottles, and that saves loads of space as well. So I hope you all have a lovely holiday if you're going away, and I will see you afterwards. Thanks for watching.